My name's Aaron, welcome back to my channel. How are you? I'm fantastic and I'm doing really well. Today I'm reviewing Zerjoff Alexander II Edipafam. For 100ml it's £495. Alexander II celebrates the traditional Arabic perfumery, the building of a dream. Alexander II, it sings with sublime lavender, rare fruity accords, whilst sandwood, musk and vanilla, cedarwood, and the gourmand warmth of amber create a rich, sensual base. The notes are amber, musk, oud, sandwood, vanilla. The middle notes are lily, rose, cedar. The top notes are lavender, rosewood, cinnamon, and apple. Do we have our bottles of Alexander too? Are we engaged with our eyes health? Let's get testing. So I'm very excited about this because Naxos, I really love and I thought it was superb. Actually, so I'm very, very excited uh, about this fragrance. And this is fantastic and amazing and tingling everywhere. This is just brilliant. This is going to fill a room and this is going to last and it's going to just know straight off. I just think it's phenomenal. So this is back to pawn again, Ice Wee Super, which is fantastic and gourmands, it's really what you want, and Ethel Brasselweight, which is a vanilla type musk, which is really what you want. So this is musk heavy, and Middle Eastern fragrances tend to be very, very musk heavy because they latch onto the skin and they do lots of interesting things, and they just, it, they sort of expand off. This is gorgeous, this is uh, Kumar and it's quite high. This smells, it smells similar to Naxos, but it smells like the uh, effervescent, well-dressed relative. Now I'm dealing with a raw material at the moment called Cyprol, and Cyprol I love, and it can help to uh, give this feel within a formulation. And it's used a lot in Oud Accord to support Oud, of course, but it can also be used to lots and lots of different things, but it works brilliantly with Gourmands. And with gourmands, you really want to make sure it's perfect. You want to make sure that it has the Lily of the Valley raw materials to smooth out the formulation and to uh, support the vanilla, either vanilla and you want vanillin and you want kumarin. That's really what you want. But you need something expansive because those raw materials with muscone in this, with muscone uh, are dense and heavy. So you would use an amber in some aspect and there's lots of different types of ambers which work brilliantly together and brown aside as well all these sort of really exciting raw materials and this is what's been used in here this is using lavender and they're using my favorite form of lavender which is a spanish lavender and they're using peppermint in this and the peppermint's giving a, a pop and i think also one of the herbaceous molecules to again aid in the elevation which would be something like sage and this is brilliant because you've got a really well balanced beautiful fragrance just really, really delightful. Just really, really gorgeous. This is expansive, it's radiating off the skin. And this is gonna give you that beautiful drifting back and affecting people around you. And for this price, you really, really want that. Muscone is a really interesting raw material. Actually, it's very, very expensive. And uh, when you dose it, if you dose it quite high, it flattens out a formulation and gives a velvety feel. And this is what's happening here. You have a real velvety richness in the formulation. There's a real sparkle to this. It's sparkling and effervescent and moving. Very, very, very appealing. Uh, very, very unisex as well. I can imagine lots of different types of people uh, doing this. It's very, very well crafted. This is an excellent house. I love it very much. And I think because it's Middle East and why I'm really drawn to it. Because this sort of fragrance is fantastic on my skin. It's how I try to build my fragrances actually. Because uh, really western fragrances don't last on my skin at all and not very good for testing but these sort of fragrances are fantastic they last on my skin and they give radiance and that's what's happening here there is a, a a wood feel to this and the wood feel to this i would say is either sandwood or it's one of the sandwood raw materials a real smooth woody feel and again i would imagine it's sandwood or bangalore Javanol, one of those sort of uh, raw materials. No, not Javanol. Sandal or Bangalore or Sandalwood, something like that is, is in here. But it's so smooth and so well blended that it's uh, also drifting together. This makes me feel very, very blissed out. It's excellent perfumery. On to my final thoughts.
I really, really enjoy this house. I think it's brilliantly well-crafted. They have, I don't know who the perfumer is. They have some brilliant perfumers there, just doing really, really good stuff. So let me go through my marks of view. The first two marks are for technical ability, whether it complies, it's leaking the safe. Absolutely, this is fantastic. The next two marks are for projection and longevity and all that sort of stuff. This is fantastic and it really lasted on my skin. I applied this in the morning, I went to the gym, walked my dogs, did all that sort of stuff and it was still on there. And so this I think is just superb. The money is where it's getting me. We're talking 495 pounds for 100 mil. Well, let's see, 500 pounds, 250 pounds for 50 mil. And for that sort of price, I really want to see 5%, between 2 and 5% oud in it, really. It does have an oud quality to it and it's very beautiful, but I'd love to see, like with that sort of price, I'd love to see sort of uh, high amounts of oud in it. But again, this is beautiful. So I'm sort of quite a little bit stuck, but I do think it's, for my mind, it's just that little bit too much. And when prices go up to 500 pounds, you know, it's one of those sort of things. I think if it was about 210, 200 pounds for 50 mil, I think it would be fantastic. But it's a little bit too much for my, for my mind, but that's maybe because it's, I don't know. The next four marks are whether I like it. Uh, I love this. I think it's particularly delightful and fantastic and uh, just amazing. Can't really say much more. Very, very skilled. Very, very fantastic. The uh, packaging is beautiful. You're getting a uh, really good finished, smooth, eloquent, beautiful fragrance. If I didn't have my own range and wasn't a perfumer and I smelled this, I'd probably buy it and, and just wear it all the time because I loved it. And to me, if I love something that much, it doesn't really bother me about the price, I'll save up for it. And then be particularly annoyed when it ran out because I was applying it all the time. I'm gonna mark this nine and a half out of 10. I think it is exquisite and fantastic. And the half a mark is just because I think it's just slightly too expensive, just fractionally too expensive, but I think it's exquisite and quite amazing. I'm very blissful. So I hope you love that review. Thumbs up and subscribe for more fascinating, interesting content. Lots of moving hands and lots of fragrance views. I hope you're staying safe and well, and I'll see you soon.